Interesting enough, Netflix is not the only recognizable company to have documentary films nominated. PBS has that with its series, Frontline. And in this case, their nominated film is Abacus, Small Enough to Jail. This documentary is directed by Steve James, and this is the same guy that directed two iconic documentary films that got snubbed in the Best Documentary Feature category. Life Itself, the Roger Ebert documentary, and Hoop Dreams. Finally, it's about time one of his movies got nominated in this category. This film centers around the Soon family who run a community bank called Abacus Federal Savings Bank, for the Chinese-American people who live in Chinatown in the Big Apple. The family itself has a big situation on a big crisis for some of their employees, which was around the same relation to the 2008 financial crisis. So, the family had to fight in court to prove that this bank is not small enough to jail, rather than a big to fail. Now, I actually like this documentary. Not as big as Strong Island, but still a big crime documentary as it takes you in this case. Well, not the case itself, but reenacting a lot of the case scenes that was going on, all the way up to the filming of the movie during its tough jury decision. Like Strong Island, it's kind of a racial documentary, this time on the Asian community. Well, not much, since it was more about the perspectives of the family and hopefully to save their business. It does go into the history of the bank led by Thomas Soon and the relationship with his wife and his daughters, which one of them is Jill Soon, who is currently the president and CEO of the company. This was a big dream for Thomas, especially after watching his all-time favorite film, if I'm correct, It's a Wonderful Life, and he knows his dreams will go up and down throughout his life. Even his family is keeping the spirit of the company, even though he's older, and his wife's not impressed, but it does have the heart of the film getting to know the Soon family. That's, however, one of the flaws I have for this film. It's nice, but it's not going into much of the case itself. It did, but it wants to show them instead of the main subject. Also, I wanted to get more history of the bank's origins on how it became successful, and the editing can be a hit and miss. There are some good ones, including the PBS style you see in other PBS documentaries, but it kind of goes fast and slow at certain points in the film. But I do like this film. Each of the family has a great personality to one another, and you get to experience an actual court event in the modern era. If you're a fan of court documentaries, or if you're a big fan of PBS documentaries, then I say give it a watch. Also, this is a perfect film for the Asian American community, even though one person wouldn't care about the way he says, CHINA! You can watch this movie on Netflix, and on the official PBS website. Now we ended the crimes in New York and go serious in the country of Syria. No, no pun intended.